I had a thought for you today. I went for a run and it was really windy and usually when it's windy outside, I like to just jump in my car and head to the trailhead so that I can just get out of the wind as soon as possible because around in the trail or on the path, the trees create like a canopy and, a, and block the wind. Today I didn't and I just jumped out here, started running, and of course the wind was pretty brutal. But right when I hit that path, I was just reminded of the refuge, the refuge that there is in the shelter of those trees. I think about it often actually, how the path has kind of become my refuge, my shelter. And it made me start thinking about um, kind of a pop phrase right now or something that is really popular to talk about is safety and safety in relationships, the need for safety, um, with all the talk about trauma and things like that. There's, there's just a lot of conversations about being safe and what that looks like. And I just feel like another part of the conversation that needs to be put on the table um, is the idea that really there's only one relationship in which you are truly safe. And that's the relationship right here with you, with you and your creator, with you and the spirit of God, with, with you and the one who lives and dwells inside of us. And I believe that a huge part of our journey in this life is learning how to fully accept the longing that comes from the one. Rich Mullins um, was a famous singer songwriter. He wrote, Our God is an Awesome God, one of the most like popular songs in Christendom. There was a movie that came out about him a few years ago and it talked about his journey and struggling with alcoholism, like pretty much his whole career. And here he was like touring and singing and writing all these songs. And he was a front runner, you know, in like the contemporary Christian music movement. For so many people, he was idolized, and yet he struggled with alcoholism until the day he died. And he ended up dying in like a tragic car accident. It didn't have anything to do with alcoholism, but he said in in the movie, and I mean, I I hope that it's kind of true, um, that he felt like one of the biggest accomplishments, or one of the biggest things that a, a human being has to learn is how to accept the love of God. But that is our journey, like that's the ultimate journey, learning to fully accept the love of God, that, that, that who you are, who you were created to be, the personality you have, the ingredients you have, the body you've been given, the time and place in history where your life is stamped in the universe, like that our journey is to accept that we're fully loved, or fully approved of, um, and how hard that is for us as humans. There's only one relationship in which we're fully safe, fully accepted, fully loved, fully seen. In our human relationships, I think that of course we we want that that holiness, that that holy place of safety and security. But even the one who um, so many of us follow, um, Jesus, even in his closest relationships, those that were tight, loyal companions, he experienced like utter betrayal. And in the relationships that should have been the most safe, he experienced what it was like for people to run away, to betray, to say, I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't know this person. He experienced that. It just reminds me that there is one place where we're safe and Part of our journey in life is to grow, is to evolve, is to change. And if we're just always seeking safety and security and comfort, our life will have a different path because growth, evolution, change will not feel safe. It will not feel secure. It will not feel comfortable. But life demands it. Life demands that we change. It demands that we grow. It demands that we evolve. And so sometimes I just get concerned in the conversation about safety and security that we might lose something because 
to grow and to change takes cognitive dis dissonance. It takes stretching. It takes um, being able to be brave enough to say, I don't think I believe that anymore. It takes it takes maybe leaving our relationship. It takes maybe opening your mind up to new ideas or new things. It, it, it demands strength and courage because it's painful and it doesn't feel safe. And so I just, I wanted to just put that on the table today that like along with safety, along with security, along with comfort, there has to be another piece to the story. There has to be the reality that growth and change and walking into maybe um, what we want for our life, what we want it to look like, is gonna take courage. And anytime something takes courage, there's gonna be some pain involved. So don't run away, don't run away from the pain, don't run away from those growth moments because it just means you're evolving. It means that you're becoming more and more refined and more beautiful. And so I just wanted to express that today, that life demands that we evolve. And so I'm journeying with you through the pain, through the evolution of change and growth. I hope you'll join me.